in this particular part I'm going to be discussing how to run the program for the very first time and how to add the CD keys we will be needing to use with the bot for official battle.net servers. So the first thing we want to do is go to this GitHub link here, and this is a fantastic link. It goes over literally everything you're ever going to need to know on how to set up Colbot, and that is right here. Again, I will leave all of these links in the description for you guys, and you'll see something that comes up like this. As you can see, we've already done this first step here, and that is to install the two dependencies that the program needs to run with. Next up, before we launch d2bot.exe in administrator mode, we have to make it do that. So Let's go ahead and go find our folder on our desktop. We're going to open it up, as you can see, I've already done that. We're going to find d2bot.exe, should be in the very first place here. Again, subject to change, sometimes they move files around, just make sure you find this exe. Go to Properties, Compatibility. Now, if you're on Windows 8 or 8.1, you need to click this little checkbox and go in here and click Windows 7. Everyone needs to go to run this program as administrator, including Windows 8 and 8.1. Once you've done that, hit apply and then hit OK. Now you're able to go ahead and run the program and you should see something that looks like this. Now once this page comes up, we're going to be interested in the keys section for this portion of the video. As you can see here, I got a couple that are made, but I'm going to go ahead and delete these so I can show you guys one more time how to do that. So the first way of adding CD keys is the manual way. In order to do that, we want to click here and we're going to name it whatever we wish and we're going to hit the little plus sign and you'll see here that adds it to the key list. The name, if you're adding it manually, you can name it whatever you want. So, for example, key one. And then we just plug in our classic and expansion keys by double clicking in each of the spots here and that's it. You just hit apply, you hit OK, and you've added the CD key. If you're somebody who has .mpq files, someone like me who was using it all and is now using Colbot, you can use those .mpq files still. The way to do this is you need to place those .mpq files in the Diablo 2 folder that we're going to be using for the bot. Now, this part, I'm going to sidetrack for just a second and explain that we need to have Diablo 2 installed. We need to have the most current version of Diablo 2 installed. You can download this from many different websites. You could torrent it. You could even use your official Diablo 2 install, which is really, really neat. Any of those ways will work just fine. I'm going to leave that up to you guys how you want to do that. However, with that being said, if you're going to use the .mpq files, we want to place those files inside that Diablo 2 folder once we have that done. So as an example, let me show you guys real quickly here. I put my CD key right here. And this is in the Diablo 2 folder. This is actually an official Diablo 2 install, just as an example. Now to do that, we're going to go ahead and hit keys. We're going to hit here. We're going to create another one because I want to show you from fresh. We're going to go ahead and type in the actual CD key name. So this needs to be exactly right, d2key1.mpq. For the classic and expansion slots, we're going to leave those completely empty because it's just going to read that file and use it. We're going to hit apply, and we're going to hit OK, and that's it. We're done. The third way, and perhaps the easiest way, is to go ahead and use the CD keys that are already being used with your Diablo 2 installation. So for example, if you downloaded your game from the D Blizzard website and you used the keys from your official Blizzard install, you can use that without adding any keys whatsoever. I'm gonna show you that in a later video how to do that. But for now, keep in mind that you can do this. Now this is probably one of the more risky ways of losing your official CD keys. If you want to do that, that's up to you. It is another method of how to do this. Now there is actually a fourth method, and I'm not going to go over it, but you can use a .csv file, and that will add in a list of CD keys for those of you who are using that. But again, I'm not going to go over that in this video. I don't feel that most people are going to find that the easiest way to do it. So if you want to do that, all you have to do is go back to our website here. It actually shows you exactly how to do that in this section right here. So for now, guys, I'm going to leave the video here. I'm going to leave that just the way it is. We're not going to actually show Colbot how or what keys to use just yet. We just want to make sure that we add the CD keys in and that they're all set and ready for us to use at a future date. 